welcome. In this video, we're going to pitch the MLD Cricket and the MLD Solomid XL. Both so poorly. Now, they are fundamentally exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is their front. So we're going to take a look at both of these, give them a pitch and give you a, a walk around. So the first one that we've taken out is the Solo Mid XL. It's quite breezy here. That's a bit breezier than I was uh, <laughs> expecting. So this one, you want to be pitching it in a rectangle. People often ask where I get my pole from. This is from uh, Ruta La Cura in America. But if you uh, contact them, they will, they will make you a pole. Let's get it tightened up a bit. So that's the front. And we've got the front fairly low to the ground there. Make sure your pegs are at about a 45 degree angle. Oh, just one thing to do. And I would just open the door and just angle your pole a tiny bit forward. Not too much, because you don't want it, uh, you don't want too much pressure on it. You know, you don't want too much angle on it, but when you tighten it forward, it'll probably straighten up anyway. But it's good to have as much room, you know, behind the pole as you can. When it's very windy like this, this is quite breezy, just do your door up. If you want your door closer to the ground, then just loosen the back off a little, both sides, tighten the front up a little bit, and that will then get your front, you know, a little bit closer. And then you can re-tighten the back. Personally, you know, to me, it makes a lot more sense to have the back closer to the ground and the front, you know, not so, <laughs> not so close. I've not brought the side lines. I must admit, I didn't think about that, forgot. I will talk about it though, because I do remember someone asking about it. We'll talk about pole, we'll talk about pleg, pleg, <laughs> peg placement. Now, like I said, to me, it's not really a problem if if the front is off the ground, you could just make your centre pole inside a bit shorter. That would probably work. I don't think you can go very much shorter though because the edges, corners are already uh, pretty much at ground level. So I think the design is the door front is, is up a bit, which is fine for ventilation. Right, where possible, you don't need, I have seen, I have some, seen some people, you know, put bungee tie outs on, on all of these bungee points. That in my opinion is just not needed at all. What I would recommend is that you get one of those very small, lightweight carabiners and have three of them and three one meter lines with one of those adjustable knots on one end. Clip it here and then have another line and then have that line coming down with another peg. It does mean you know, three extra pegs, but I would only be putting them on the windward side. So if the wind is coming from the back, then I do one, two, three. If the wind changed, I'd maybe do, and it was coming, you know, say this way, I do one, two, three. So I would tend to put them either just at the back or if the wind did a major change, then I would just switch them around. I really don't think you need you don't need them all the way around. I just think that's completely pointless. Again, I know some people, they like to run the line from here down to the actual peg that you are using, and that will also work. The only thing with that is, if you want your hems 
close to the ground, then it's pointless running a line, you know, you're running, running it straight down the line, straight down the, the thing of the tent there. So, you know, it's useful to have, have, you know, three extra pegs for that, for that option. Let's pitch the cricket. With this one, we're gonna to have to use two poles put together. Right, so get the two, get the two back lines. I should have pitched this one at the front, shouldn't I? Right, and then depending on the wind and the weather, will really dictate and the lack of or the less stretch of of this um, material. We'll try a walking pole first. So if you've got a walking pole that will go to 145, 145 centimeters. I should have pitched this one at the front. So that's the back. That's the front there. Estimate, I really do like bungs because one, it gives you just a little bit more height on your pole. And two, it makes adjusting things much, much easier. And that's it. So you actually use less pegs as well. So you've effectively got, okay, we're not going to count Ron's attached on the MLD, the Ron's attached there, bungee cords all around there, just like one at the back, but you could put more on, you know, if you really so desire. So here we've got one of those adjustable line, adjustable, you know, knots, so you can adjust it up and down. Taut line hitch. <laughs> I have a video on how to do a taut line hitch, but that's very useful there. And realistically, that's probably the only one that you really need. I'll open this one up and I'll put the, the inner inside. So you can see the inner inside here and your porch. And then we'll take the inner out and we'll put it over We'll put it over there but i think these are about the same height so obviously with uh solo mid xl we get a door so we will roll the door open okay so that's the inner in i thought i'd been recording it and of course i'd forgotten to hit record as usual you might want to just have a little bit of bungee cord on the, you know, on the top, because this is probably on the higher side for, for the inner, but it's, it fits okay. Um, I'm not quite sure how high this is, but a couple of things to note when it's pitched like this, it's, it is off the ground, you know, just as, just as advertised. <laughs> it might actually be about the right height, actually. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually perfect. No, actually that height, I thought it was a bit high, but it's, it's not because it's, it's, it's raised the corners. Because the corners are, I raised off the ground, the corner of the ground sheet. <laughs> I think you can see that. It's actually about the right, it's actually about the right height. <laughs> yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much exactly pretty much exactly the right height. So I've got such mucky, my trousers, everything is just so mucky. And if you saw my, my video, 
one or two of you did. Um, in camp, <laughs> without this being sealed, so of course we're, we're under the one that I haven't sealed. Um, you know, you've got all of this porch space. I mean, you know, it's not as much as, you know, as a duo mid, but it's still, you know, it's still plenty. Like I said, I'm not quite sure how you get this front very low to the ground. You can make the pole, you know, you can make your pole a little bit shorter, I guess, here. Um, but the four corners are quite low, so I, I wouldn't want it much lower. To be fair, I wouldn't want it much lower. And given that the ground sheet is pretty much exact, then, you know, I think it's good. And what I've done with the ground sheet, you have clips in the corners, so they reach that perfectly. You may... You may just need to be cautious with how you cut your line because if you see my video when I set up the cricket, I did make a boo boo with uh, you know with cutting you know with cutting the bungee cord that was supplied. I I messed up there, so I ended up having to tie pieces together because I copped it up, which was a bit annoying. But, you know, it, it does work in here. And I don't know whether the Cricut has those... I don't think the Cricut has those corner... See, no, it doesn't. So with the Cricut, I ended up putting them on the, on the tie-out points on the outside. To be honest, though, when the weather's really rough and you don't want to be in and out too much, then I tend to just, you know peg it peg it to the ground and obviously if you do that then it probably won't you know it probably won't be as good as this 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 i have to say works perfectly yes it's about time you paid some attention to me daddy and a bit more please and you can sit <laughs> in your porch with your ground chair or your zero chair, ground chair, zero chair, either work. Very nice and cozy. Obviously, if it was raining, you'd have to duck under cover. But you can kind of sit here on your, on your veranda drinking tea. Oh, leave it. The only downside to this is I can't, I can't stay here all night or all afternoon. I got to get going later. Okay, so we're going to take the inner to the cricket. You, for the cricket, you need a longer line. They're probably not too long. We can put onto that one there. It's quite blustery. <laughs> These back ones are you know, a little bit more problematic because you can't reach outside. So you kind of got to angle your line, you know, and then you do have to go outside because you've got to get it on the peg like that. But I mean, to be fair, it's really not that difficult. The only thing I found in Scotland, because the weather was like really rough up there, I will admit that I, I just used the pegs, you know, I, ju I just used separate pegs because it was just, oh, <laughs> let's see, because it was just more convenient that way. And that works too. It's about 145 to 150 centimeters and you can see it's, uh, you know, you could make it a bit lower, but yeah you're still going to get your bathtub thing. That Ron, I reckon he's... I still think like a little bit of a, a bungee loop on the apex. You know, just one small bungee, just like a bit of bungee cord, tie it as small as you can. So, you know, so you are going to be adding a bit to it, but just so you've just got or maybe even just like a carabiner up there 
It's, it's almost as if it's a bit too tall. Pretty spot on, really. And then this is inside the cricket. And I think what I, what I really like even more with, with the cricket, first of all, you can see out completely. You've got, you know, at least the same amount of porch space. I suppose if you want to be very pedantic, I suppose if the weather was really poor, you know, and Lassie was over there, she's more likely to get wet there than obviously with a door closed. Um, but realistically, you're not going to be using this in weather where, where it's going to be a problem if she's wet anyway, because she's, she's outside all the time. And, you know, and I must admit, I do like, you know, the big, the big overhang there. That's uh, really nice. And we're, we're inside here. And, you know, we've got the same. I don't know why, but it seems like you've got more space in here. I don't know whether it, whether, well, I, maybe I've got it pitched. Well, it's still blowing in on me, to be fair, but there really, there, there shouldn't really be anything in it. I think maybe it feels bigger because you, I can see out and maybe that feels bigger, you know, from, from that point of view. I, I, th I think it is pitched a little bit higher because I think that is, I think in, in that one, it, it was going down less. So I do think this is pitched, you know, marginally higher but there's there's not much in it this is very nice this is a very nice the cricket i just think is a really really nice option you know as long as you you know don't mind not having a door and i really don't see any real loss there um i i really like the cricket you know i just like openness is off the ground there. I mean, to be fair, the back is closer to the ground and that one there is, is close to the ground, but you know, the, 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 the height is still off the ground. It still pulled it up. It's really, it's really just this corner here, which is a little bit higher off the ground. All the others are uh, more, you know, more close to the ground if you were just to put, put, put something in the corner. And the advantage with the cricket, okay, you're kind of, you're more inside here, you know, because the overhangs here and I'm completely under cover. So if it was raining, you know, I could sit up in my zero, this is a zero chair, this isn't the ground chair, I'm in my zero chair in the porch and, and I've got, and I'm covered, you know, so even if it rained, I'm covered here, which you can't do in the, you know, in, in the solo med, you know, because obviously the door, I, I would, have, I'd be outside now. So that's just something else. <laughs> it's a good job I brought the chair with me. It was only because I was feeling, or oh, I'm, I'm going to be feeling lazy. I'm going to want to sit, sit down. But it actually probably worked out quite well to be able to, you know, to show you. So it really depends, you know, what you want to do. If you want to sit outside, but inside, but outside, inside, inside, outside, under cover, then you certainly can. So you can see the inner net in there. Obviously we've taken it out of there, put it over there. So you can see the inner net in the cricket there. You can see them both in this 
breeze. So that's your cricket and your solo med. You kind of pick your poison and whichever one you prefer. It probably is six of one and half a dozen of the other. I think where, where this scores is obviously if the wind did a 180, you know, and then was blowing that way, you know, even if you can't get the door very, very low, the rain still isn't really going to get to you, you know, when you're behind that pole. And you'd be able to put something there in emergency, a pack or something. You know, from that point of view, you know, from more coverage than obviously, you know, doors on the solo mid is helpful. The cricket has the disadvantage of you can't move the door like you can on the trail star. So with the trail star, you could just drop one side and open up another side. You can't do that if it does a 180 on you. You're, you are pretty stuck. You, you'd have to, you know, completely just, you know, turn it round basically, which obviously would be a right pain in the neck. But that's really only if the wind does a 180. You know, even if it's coming in at, I don't know what that is, 270 or something like that or whatever, you know, you're still pretty well protected. And don't forget with the, you know, we've got it pitched quite high. But what you could do is if you loosen off that one, that one, loosen off your, your inner, bring this one over here, that's probably enough. So you could put that there. Basically, you're widening the door, making it lower. Your bungee cord still goes there. And then this one here, undo that one. And then bring this out that way. So you're kind of lengthening. You don't need the take away the the pole that's here you don't need the pole now you do away without the pole and now you've got that one much lower you've got that one much lower and that and then that you know within a few seconds really that really didn't take very long you've now got a lot more protection. And probably even from a 180, you might maybe just, you know, you might just get away with that now. Because if you get under here, you do have to, you know, duck under. Oop. It's a little squeeze to get under, but once you're under, there is ample space. I'm not sure what you can see, but you could probably put your pack, you know, in the door and you might, you might have enough protection now if, if it did a 180 on you. Obviously, getting in and out is you know, not so easy, but... So I'll just show you around now. So that's when it's pitched you know with the front very low you know the cricket is very 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 versatile is a very versatile shelter and obviously when you disconnect it in fact if you loosen it off like i did then that does make collapsing it a little bit easier and the sooner you can drop it down you know the less the less it's going to flap uh, daddy what are you doing daddy what are you doing i'm not quite sure why it's uh not moving 
Oh. <laughs> oh God. I was wondering why it's not moving. You've got Lizzie under there. Oh God. <laughs> Lizzie. <laughs> oh, Lizzie. <laughs> oh, God. oh dear. Daddy, where are you putting my house? That's my house. What are you doing with my house? That's my nice soft bit. Why, 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 what can I sit on? And just mind your foam mats. Put something on them so they don't blow away. And then <laughs> as best as you can with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and the wind isn't me this time. You could tie your shelter to your um, pack. I must admit, I tend to just make sure that one, one peg is in, you know, until I'm pretty sure, you know, until I'm pretty sure I've got it safe. I think the battery is going to run out on that GoPro in a minute. I've, I've only got to put that one away. It's no different to this. It's just stuffing a tent in a bag. So I'm going to let you all go. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. I do hope you found this helpful and informative leave a comment like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching so we're gonna have one more tea and then we're gonna have to pack up fairly swiftly ah, didn't bring the oh we used another tea bag i could have used the same tea bag but i'm not i'm feeling I'm feeling far too lazy to go and get it. Ah, oh. and now the problem is now, now I'm, I've settled down again. Although I wonder what happened to the other tea bag. I wonder, Lassie. Um, because I don't remember, I don't remember seeing it to be honest. You remember seeing this other tea bag, Lassie? <laughs> you got any idea where that tea bag might be? <sighs> All right. So I'm going to have my tea. And then we'll collapse everything down. And that's another little video for people to. <laughs> Bored with and say, oh my god, what have we what have we just been watching? <laughs> <laughs>